you can now upload images to ChatGPT and it will be able to interpret and analyze those images so you can ask it questions based upon the images that you upload. So in today's video, I'll be going over various use cases of this new ChatGPT vision mode, starting with the most practical use cases for you and your business, and then we'll get into some more creative use cases. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first and most useful use case is the ability to upload images of your website or of ads that you've created and have ChatGPT give you recommendations and things that you can do to improve your website or your ads. So for example, I came across this ad on my Facebook. It's by a company called Nerva. And this is the ad with the caption, the image, and the call to action. So all I did was simply take a screenshot of this image and I'm able to upload that image by clicking the attach images on the left hand side of the toolbar. And I uploaded that image onto ChatGPT and asked it, what is this ad about? And as you can see, ChatGPT is able to read this image and tell me what this ad is about. It's able to give me specific breakdown of what um, the ad mentions, the things in which it's offering, and the call to actions that it has within this ad. So this is really useful because you're able to analyze your own ads or what's even more useful is that you're able to analyze the ads of your competitors. So you can simply take a screenshot or copy the image of their ad, paste this into ChatGPT, and then you'll be able to um, extract important information from those ads. Now, what you can also do to get more information is you can ask ChatGPT, how can I improve this ad to get more opt-ins or to get whatever objective you would like? And as you can see here, ChatGPT will then take the information from that ad and give you customizable recommendations that you can follow to improve that ad. So for example, it's given us recommendations to improve the clarity of our website. And as we can see here, it's actually talking about this specific um, ad. It's talking about breaking the IBS anxiety cycle with Nerva, which is what that ad is about. So it's not just general information, you're getting information about the image in which you upload it. It also talks about engaging visuals, benefit-driven content, improving your urgency and exclusivity, having a clear call to action, and so on. So again, we're getting very customizable recommendations based upon the image that we uploaded. You could also do the same thing for sales pages, landing pages, and your websites. So for example, what I did here was I went over to my website, which is wordrocket.ai. I took a screenshot of the landing page and I uploaded that onto ChatGPT. And I told ChatGPT that I'm trying to get more people to join the beta list for my new tool. How can I prove this landing page? And if we scroll down here, we're able to get some real actionable and actually very useful um, recommendations in which we can do to get more opt-ins for the objective that we're going after. So it's telling us to clarify our value proposition, emphasize a call to action, have scarcity and urgency, and so on. And if you actually went ahead and read through the recommendations, we can see that it's not just general recommendations, it's catered for our website. So we definitely know that ChatGPT is able to read that image and give us customizable outputs. As you can tell, this is very, very powerful and you can use this for a variety of different use cases. You can use this to analyze your own web pages or you can use this to analyze competitor web pages as well. The possibilities really are endless. A third useful way in which you can use this new feature is by uploading images that you like and having ChatGPT take that image and create a custom prompt for you so that you can go ahead and use that in Dolly 3 to generate a similar image. So for example, let's say I really like this image here, but I want to kind of tweak it for my own um, likings or I just wanted to create my own image rather than using the image that I found. I can upload this image onto ChatGPT and ask it to extract the most effective prompt that I can use to generate an image like this using an AI text to image tool like Dolly 2 or Dolly 3. And if we scroll down here, it's able to give us a concise yet detailed prompt to guide an AI in generating an image that's similar to the one that's provided. And if you wanted to customize this to add any new things that you would like to add into that image, you can definitely go ahead and do so. So once you're happy with your prompt, then you can just go ahead and copy that over. Head over to bing.com slash create, and this is where you'll be able to use Dolly 3 for completely free. Paste that into the search bar, and then Dolly 3 will create that image for you. Now, I've already went ahead and created that image, and as you can see, the original image that we got is very similar to the image that was generated by Dolly 3 with our own custom prompt. So if you don't know the prompt that was used to create an image, you can reverse engineer, pop that image into ChatGPT and ask it to extract that prompt for you. And as you guys can see, you're able to get very, very similar outputs because it's able to understand that image and you can use the prompt to generate a similar image. 
A fourth useful way in which you can use the image feature in ChatGPT is by uploading a screenshot of your blog post to give you recommendations that you need to follow to improve the overall SEO or on-page optimization of that blog post. So again, what I did was I uploaded an image of a recent blog post that I had on my website and then I asked ChatGPT to give me recommendations that I need to follow. It was able to give me some recommendations, but I think this was a little bit more general because I don't think ChatGPT was able to have a lot um, or enough information to give you much more customizable outputs. But again, this would be helpful if you just wanted to copy some of uh, your content, uh, take a screenshot, paste that into ChatGPT and ask it for ways in which you can improve your content. And of course, you can also go ahead and do this for a competitor if you wanted to do some competitor research. Now let's go ahead and talk about some more fun ways in which you can use ChatGPT. So I uploaded an image of a dumbbell and I asked ChatGPT, what exercises can I do with this at home? And amazingly, ChatGPT was able to identify that this image is a dumbbell. With a dumbbell, you can perform a variety of different exercises to target different muscle groups. Here's a list of exercises that you can do at home using a dumbbell. So it doesn't just give me a couple of different workouts. It actually categorizes by the type of workout. So we get upper body workouts, lower body workouts, core and full body workouts. So this is really neat. And this is kind of the first use case that ChatGPT came out with when it was introducing its vision mode. So essentially, if you're in an area, you can take a picture of wherever you're at and ChatGPT will be able to explain that image for you. So this is really useful if you're in a foreign country and maybe you don't understand a sign that has um, some language on it. You can take a picture of that sign and ChatGPT will be able to understand that sign for you. Or if you're visually impaired, you can take pictures of things around you and then ChatGPT will be able to understand and explain those images or those visuals to you. This was just one example, but I'm sure you'll be able to take images of things within your environment and ChatGPT will be able to explain those things for you. Next up, what you can do is you can take a picture of a meal that you really enjoy. Let's say you're out at a restaurant and you really enjoyed that meal. You can take a picture of that and then ask ChatGPT, how can you make this recipe at home? Again, this is a really, really cool feature. For this example, I uploaded an image from Google, but I'm sure it'll work if you upload an image from your um, phone that you took yourself and it will be able to identify that uh, food and then also be able to give you the recipe for that food. So that's a creative and fun way in which you can use ChatGPT with images. Now, lastly, let's say you have some images in which you don't understand. You have a flow chart, you have a diagram for work that you may not necessarily understand. You can upload that image onto ChatGPT and simply ask it to explain that image for you. So we see here that this is a flow chart, but maybe you're not a visual learner and you need to kind of read things out. ChatGPT will be able to explain this image for you. So as you can see here, it's going through that whole flow chart so you can easily read and understand what that image is about. So these are just a couple of different use cases, but I'm sure as you can imagine, there's thousands of thousand different use cases in which you can use with the ChatGPT vision mode. Let me know in the comments below how you'll be using ChatGPT's vision mode and let me know which one of these use cases you like the best and you'll be implementing within your everyday life. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.